Okay, so in this phase, we're going to add the buttons we would like to position on these teeth. We said earlier we're going to put buttons on these two lateral incisors. So to do so, I'm simply going to right click on the tooth in the area I would like to position the button. Click Add Button. And now we have small, medium, and large buttons. You can also resize them after positioning them. This gives us a starting point. You have a long skinny bar, more of a rectangle and triangle. These buttons may change over time, the different shapes that we have uh, available. But for now, my the, the go-to button is going to be the rectangle and the triangle are the two most commonly used buttons. The buttons will automatically align with the long axis of the patient. I tend to tweak them to the long axis of the tooth, but that again is a user preference uh, function. So we can move this to wherever we want, orient it. We can make it wider or we can make it taller. If we have particularly tall teeth, we want extra torque, make them maybe make them a little bit taller, or vice versa if they are broad teeth. Once that's positioned, I can right click over here and click the same previous button. And it gives me the same button as before. Now notice it's not as long as the previous one. If I right click and delete this, remove it, I can then right click on this one and click duplicate and position my cursor where I would like to position it. And now it's the same actual shape and size. So that is a function that I tend to use. I usually duplicate uh, unless I'm doing a completely unique button. Uh, for instance, changing over to a triangle for a different movement. Once again, it aligns it with the long axis of the, of the model. I oriented it to the long axis of the root. And that is good. I want to make sure that there's no, the corners aren't sticking too high off the tooth. Does not appear to be doing so. You can push it into or out of the tooth as you desire. If you accidentally make a movement that you don't like, just hit Control Z. It will put it right back to where it was. Okay. And that is it for this, this that stage.